Hey guys, welcome to my gym. This is where all the work gets done. I've been accused of building the ultimate garage gym. Come on in, I'll give you a tour around. I'll show you exactly what we have here and exactly how I built it. And I promise I didn't build it alone. So as you come in, it's just a two car garage. So there's not a lot of room in here, but we managed to cram an a lot of equipment in here. Over on the side, I keep the two sleds that we have. We got two full size sleds. We keep the 45s on top of that. Sledgehammers, got a, uh, a rogue yoke right here, which doubles as a squat rack. You can also push it, carry it, do all kinds of things. Three or four weight vests up there, dumbbells, accessory plates. We've got 45s, 35s, 25s, 55s, 15s, 10s, as far as the bumper plates go. So we're completely set up for that, no problem. Got all the accessory bands. This is where we keep all the the kettlebells, so we got a rack of 35s, a rack of 53s, we got 70s and ha heavier ones over here like this. We've got three Concept 2 ski ergs, um, some various benches, keep our dumbbells in there, rogue sandbags, which are just kind of like a, a atlas ball that we can go over the shoulder with those. You got medicine balls. I think we got one, two, three, four, five. So 10, we got 20 medicine balls. Those are uh, 20 and 14 pounds. Below that, we keep our sandbags there. Those are all 45 pound sandbags. And on the bottom, we have 120 pound sandbags there if you wanna get really excited. There's a couple more sleds down at the bottom. We got six air bikes. Got old school Schwinn. We got a brand new uh, Rogue air bike and we got four assault bikes. Keep all the bars back in here. I've got about 20 to 25 uh, Olympic lifting bars. Most of these are Rogue bars or really all of them are Rogue bars. We've got men's bars, women's bars. Keep all our jump ropes here. Weight belts, accessories for things that you need, reflective gear for running. All this stuff kind of adds up. We built up to have a, a pretty nice stereo system back here. Keep two timers going, two uh, muscle driver timer and a rogue timer. In this room is where I keep my ice machine and I have a, uh, an 800 pound ice machine back here so that we can do the hot and cold baths. I'll show you the sauna in a minute. And pretty much uh, finish up with the reverse hyper from rogue right here. This is a great machine for uh, uh, lower back strength uh, and then everything else is outside. So as we move out here, we've got all the, sometimes we use bamboo instead of uh, just, just PVC pipes, but all kinds of stuff to get ready for the workout for the day. Around the corner, we've got 13 rowing machines, mostly Concept 2 uh, newer ones, but I have some really old school, old Concept 2s back there. We got these rogue blocks here, and uh, we got the, 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 the uh, jump boxes over there. But you can do step ups and all kinds of other things with those. They're 20, 24, and, and 30 inches tall. Um, and then we move out here. This is pretty cool. First of all, I got a really nice to have such a big driveway so we can run and do all kinds of stuff in the driveway. But then this, these are all glute ham developers. And one of these things is pretty expensive, so I decided, you know, to try to see how much it would cost to just build it myself and have it built so that it could stay outside all the time. And so in doing that, I designed this one where there's, I have three of these and there's three on each. So we really have nine GHD machines. Most gyms have like one or two. So that's pretty cool. We use these every single day and they just live outside powder coated and they're uh, perfect perfectly suited for outdoors all the time. And then we got a 36 foot rig uh, that we've expanded and added some stuff up to the top. This is a Rogue Infinity rig. We got all the rings and ropes and everything else. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six squat racks out here. And then we have pull up bars for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 people can be doing pull-ups all at once. So 
that's pretty cool. Um, so this rig has grown and we've added on to it. It started out as a little tiny piece, but it's grown into this monster. Um, we got the jerk boxes over here. We got two sets of jerk boxes. A lot of people think they're beehives. They're not beehives. We've got the tires. The tires are the least expensive part of the whole thing. I got all those at the dump. I've got a giant tire that weighs 700 pounds. I've got a 280 pounder. I got a 200 pounder and like a smaller one that we, we hit with the sledgehammer. I made three Atlas stones with, uh, with Rob Orlando's molds. We've got dip bars out here and uh, targets, targets for the wall balls up here as well. So that's the rig. Then we got more stuff too. Come on up here, I'll show you more. So this is it, built a sauna. I love this thing, it's so awesome. I got a real overbuilt sauna heater right there. That thing is for a sauna twice this size, real commercial sauna. And uh, you know, I got two benches, got one on top, one down here. You can put a lot of people in here or I can kick these, these benches back, push them back and I could free up a lot more space so you can do some stretching, yoga, mobility stuff in here in the sauna. And then my favorite thing is to get in the ice, get in the sauna, get back in the ice, get back in the sauna and do that. Usually do that on a Saturday or Sunday. But uh, yeah, the sauna is one of the best parts about the whole setup. So that's it. That's a quick tour of the gym. There's probably lots of other stuff in there that I didn't quite show you, but it comes down to how I built it. And uh, I can promise you that I didn't build it alone. I'm the one that has room for this stuff in my backyard and my driveway and a wife that's nice enough to allow me to keep all this stuff. So what has happened is over the last 15 years, this was not built overnight, over the last 15 years, I have a group of literally hundreds of people that have been part of this that have contributed one or two donations a year and we continue to collect more and more equipment. And that's the simple part of it. Build a community, do this for your own community, build a group, have a couple of donations a year, and then build something that benefits the entire community. And that's what we've done here. And hundreds of people have benefited from this setup. And uh, I'm just lucky enough to have it in my backyard. I guess you could argue that because it is in my backyard, but it's cool. I like it and I like to, uh, to have this be a part of my life and it can be a part of yours too. You can build this in your own community. You can build this in, a, in, a, in an empty uh, building somewhere in your community. So you can find somebody that has a driveway in a garage like mine and you can start building it there. Maybe it's you or you can uh, you know, rent a storage unit and start building stuff out of, the, out of there. Get a lot of people together, donate some equipment, donate some money, buy some equipment. Build it slow, it happens over time. And uh, sooner or later, you can spiral completely out of control like I have. <laughs> All right, see ya.